Yeah. It's just unfortunate for me that, um, you know, notice, notice your rear tires are spinning and Casey's were locked up for quite some time. It's unfortunate for me. How long is that thing? Watch, look, you can't even see him. I'm so far beside him. Look at him I mean, darn. What you expect at this level is someone to be able to not make that kind of mistake. And then when I, when it all happened, then he was right there in front of me. And for like two seconds in time, uh, at the most three, <laughs> I lost my cool and I hit him. And I didn't really feel like that it would hurt anything that much. I was just expressing my disappointment with his inability to drive his car. And um, then NASCAR parked me. And uh, I, quite honestly, I was wrecked anyway. And so I thought, well, parking me is probably the best thing to do. And it did cost you quite a few points. Yeah. I don't know. It probably wasn't torn up that bad. We've seen cars be resilient enough to come off that and finish in the, you know, still finish good. Probably cost me 40 points, best I can figure, which is disappointing. Um, but, but you know, when, when you don't even see a guy, and you didn't even see him and he drove up and wrecked me, um, I just lost my cool for a second. But I don't think I endangered anybody's health or well-being. I just wanted him to know that I didn't like what he did. And I still want him to know that. Casey, you should have not done that. But I will forgive you somewhat because you have a spotter, so the two of y'all shouldn't have done that. <laughs> the the one of those shared blame. What do those people do 